cashiers. Where are all the checkout lines? That will not be required with our store's newest venture, Groceries on the Go. Groceries on the Go is an inbuilt module that is attached to your shopping cart in order to optimize shopping experience and ensure customer satisfaction. Wow! Let me explain to you how this works. Our inbuilt module that is attached to your cart works by sensing any item you want to purchase. For example, look at this granola bar. All you have to do is slide it across the front and our inbuilt scanners immediately reads and identifies the product you want, displays it on the screen along with its corresponding prices. That's awesome. Yes, and not only that, believe it or not, all this information is sent to our application which you can have downloaded onto your phone. It not only just shows you the name and prices of all the items you want to purchase, but also a tally total, a total tally price that you all that you need to pay at checkout. Is it really that easy? Yes, it is that easy. So say goodbye to spending long hours wanting to know the prices of your items and also having to deal with sales reps or clerks in stores. PIR works by sending GPIO outputs directly to the microcontroller. When the PIR is inactive, it does not read the RFID tag no matter how much I press on top of it. But once I wake up the PIR and then put it, it immediately reads. The RFID scanner works by reading the numbers stored in these tags and um, transporting this information to the microcontroller using the SPI communication protocol. Here I have a tag that's mapped to rice. Putting it on top of the scanner shows you basmati rice, two pounds. Here I have um, something that isn't tagged to any item in particular. Putting this on top shows item invalid, showing that it's not a valid item. And this is mapped to old granola bars. As such, putting it on shows oat and honey pounds. Here we have a completely functional OLED that shows no item detected in its base form. And if it detects something, oat and honey bar with the corresponding price, after removing the item, goes back to no item detected. The HM19 module works by forming a connection to your phone via Bluetooth and sending product name and prices into it. Here, DSD tech is the HM19 for our device. As such, pressing connect will connect it with Bluetooth. Now, using this old granola bar, I scan it on the RFID tag and the information is successfully sent. Oat and honey bar, $395. Application Groceries on the Go accepts Bluetooth information through the HM19 sent out by a microcontroller and read using the RFID. Here we can see the device address to make sure the correct device is being connected and items shown will have their name and price along with a grand total of all tallied product prices. Here I scan the rice and let's say they want two packs of rice, $7.99 per two pound, total of $15.98. And let's say they also want some Fuji apples to go along with it. If you have that scanned as well, you get the Fuji apple with for 564 and a total of 2162. Here's the full project demonstration with all the components working together. This is the product, I'm gonna scan it. And as we can see, the app registered the project along with the total being shown.